friends, it's Miss Sarah and welcome to this month's character craft. This month is Dora from Dora the Explorer. So your kit is going to come with the instructions, our song lyrics, uh, you will have your very own map. So you get to cut out and make your own map of wherever you'd like to go. I have mine here where I'm leaving my house and I cross the bridge and I get to the library because that's where I want to be. And you can just fold it up when you're done and you have a map. You are going to need your own scissors and glue or tape for this entire craft. Um, it also comes with two really Dora, uh, two really neat Dora and Boots coloring pages. And our craft for the day is going to be binoculars. So your kit's gonna come with two toilet paper rolls, some construction paper, and a string to make your binoculars. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that, and then we're going to read our books and then sing our song. So I have part of it done so you'll know what it looks like. Um, for the binoculars. So what you're going to do is you'll see that you have two empty toilet paper rolls and they have two holes in them. Uh, your construction paper won't, but I will show you how to make those holes. Um, what you're going to do is make sure the holes are on the same side and we're going to have them toward the outside because that's where you're going to tie your strings for your binoculars. But first is first, you're going to have two sheets of paper and you're going to want to cover your binoculars. So I just rolled mine around and make sure you remember where your hole is because we're going to have to poke through. And now I found that it was easier to use tape, but if you have glue at home, that will work too. Uh, so I'm just going to tape this real quick just to show you how it works. So you'll have it like that completely covered and then you can just tuck in the end pieces so that we have our eye pieces for the binoculars. Okay, so they will look like this. So remember when I told you to remember where your hole is? If you have a pencil, the easiest way to do it is to just poke right through the hole just like that. And then you will have two. Uh, if you want to decorate them, you absolutely can. You can throw stars on them, color it with glitter, markers, whatever design you would like, or you can leave them plain just like Dora's. Your kit is also going to come with this strip of paper. And what you're gonna wanna do is we're just going to glue or tape whatever you used for the eye pieces of the binoculars. We're just going to put that together so it holds your binoculars together. Um, and you can tape. And you're just going to want to make sure that your sides with your holes are on opposite sides right here so we can tie our string in. So you will do that. And you're just going to poke the string right through the hole. And you're going to make a little knot. It's a perfect opportunity to learn how to make a knot. But if you need your uh, grown-ups help, just have them tie the knot for you. Um, because it can be a little tricky. So once you have that, you have your set of binoculars. You can put it over your head and there it is. You can find your way like Dora does. Okay, so let's read our first book. It's called Dora's Sleepover. Okay. Hi, I'm Dora. It's a big night. I am having a sleepover with my best friend Boots at his tree house. First I need to pack backpack. Do you see what I should pack? 
What do you think she's gonna need? Probably her sleeping bag and her and her sleeping pajamas. Uh, let's see. I will take my pajamas, my flashlight, my sleeping bag, and my book of pirate stories. Boots loves pirate stories. I do too. Mommy has made some cookies for Boots and me. Yum! Mommy puts the cookies in a basket. Do you like cookies? Thank you, Mommy. Goodbye. How do we get to Boots Treehouse? Nap can show us the way. We go through the tunnel, then through the jungle, and that's how we get to Boots Treehouse. We made it to the tunnel, but the tunnel is so dark. Is there something in my backpack that will help us see in the dark? Hmm, do you think it'll be your sleeping bag or pajamas or maybe the flashlight? <gasps> yeah, a flashlight. We made it through the tunnel. Now we need to go through the jungle. Uh-oh, do you see someone behind that tree? It's Swiper. Swiper wants to swipe our basket of cookies. Say swiper, no swiping. Good job. We stopped swiper and there's Boots Treehouse. We can climb the ladder to get to Boots Treehouse. Hi Boots, I'm ready for our sleepover. I have my pajamas, my flashlight, my sleeping bag, my book of pirate stories and a basket of cookies from mommy. It's time to put on our pajamas. Then we could turn on our flashlights and eat the cookies. Yum! I can read my book of pirate stories to Boots too. How fun! That looks like a great sleepover. Look at the moon. The moon is so big and bright. Boots yawns. Boots is sleepy. I am sleepy too. We get into our sleeping bags. Oh. Good night, Boots, and good night to you too. So that was our first book, friends. Good listening ears. And now we're gonna take out our song lyrics and we're going to sing There Was a Crocodile. And for each animal, you're gonna do the hand movements. So grab out your song lyrics. We're going to do our song. I'll show you how to do it once and then you can repeat after me, okay? It's a really quick one. So it's called There Was a Crocodile. So we're going to do the, the arm movements of every animal as we go. So there was a crocodile and orangutan, a flying eagle and a silvery fish, a bunny, a beaver, a crazy elephant. Da 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 da. All right, so we're gonna do it again. Ready? There was a crocodile and orangutan, a flying eagle and a silvery fish, a bunny, a beaver, a crazy elephant. Na 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 na. All right, friends. Well, that was our song. And let's start with our second book. And this one is Dora the Explorer, Follow These Feet. Hmm. All right, friends, let's see. Hi, I am Dora. Boots and I found some footprints in the sandbox. I wonder who made them. Do you know? Hmm, those. I think I did make those. Did I make these footprints? Hmm. No, my feet are small. I did not make these footprints. Did Boots make these footprints? No, his footprints are shaped like an oval. He did not make these footprints. Hmm, see, there's Boots and there's those big footprints. Who made these footprints? We can follow them to find out. Hmm. Hello, big red chicken. Did you make these footprints? No, his feet have three toes. He did not make these footprints. Did the horse make these footprints? What do you think? 
Do those look like they fit? No, the horse wears horseshoes on her feet. She did not make these footprints. Did the crocodile make these footprints? No, the crocodile has long nails. He did not make these footprints. Hmm. Did the rabbit make the footprints? What do you think? They're close. No, she has two long feet and two short feet. She did not make these footprints. Hmm. Did the snake make these footprints? No, the snake does not have feet. He slid across the ground. He did not make these footprints. Do you see Swiper? Hmm, do you see him? He's over there. Did Swiper make these footprints? Hmm, no, Swiper is sneaky. He tiptoes. He did not make these footprints. The footprints go all the way to the beach. They go by the seashells and toward the sand castle. See that? That's a really cool sand castle. Now do you know who made these footprints? Hmm. It was Benny. He walked to the beach in his new flippers. Yay! We did it. We found out who made the footprints. <laughs> Good job, friends. Good listening ears today. So those were our two books. We had our song lyrics. Don't forget to make your map to wherever you'd like to go. There's lots of options on the printout. You can go home, you can go to the barn, you can go to the library, or draw your own. And don't forget, we'll see you next time, friends. Have a good day.